So I'm sorry, guys. I um, didn't realize you had to log in 20 minutes before and look at your video library or whatever to make the announcement I posted just go live. So I'm sorry if you didn't get a notification. Um, you got a really big box here. Click Clack is here. He's just so sad. Now. Can you see me, Click Clack? Click the box? Yeah, I got you. I'm pretty excited about this. I've been waiting for a long time. Yeah, in here yet. Hey, what's up, everybody? We yet, we yet. Oh, there's Rob. Hey, Rob. What's up, Rob? Oh, you can't see your people. They I there, see right? My people. They know. Hey. <laughs> hey, YouTubers. How about we do this? We'll flip this camera around. And we probably could turn that off for me. Click like so it is going on the kids' toys and everything. <laughs> hey, yo. There we go. That's better. Oh, YouTube's got a better shot than you guys, but I'm going to take care of you, Facebook. Oh. Don't worry. Oh, YouTube just fell. Hang on. We can. We got way to YouTube. What's up, Rob? Rob says, what's up? What's up, Rob? Post 9 p.m. on Facebook? No. Surely not. Surely not. Someone come in here and tell Rob he's wrong. Please. No, I wouldn't have done that. How could I do that? My, my kid would have to be so in bed before we were done. There's no way. Yeah, YouTube. We also on Facebook. Facebook. We also on YouTube. I can't see you, YouTube. My Facebook people are responding. Where are you? Oh, I see somebody. You're not going to get yours till after Christmas? This was an early Christmas present for me. Everybody talking about Billy Pike glasses. So you guys usually see me posting for events and stuff, but this time, this is for, oh, wrong way. This is for the Reef Farm. This one was actually for me. They just wanted to help us out. How about that for some stuff? Just here, let's help you out. So we're gonna share with you guys this big giant box that they sent. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Cook clock, are you ready? I got my. See what's in this big, long box. I'm not even 100% sure, so I know I'm gonna be excited. Because I know a couple things that are in here, and it's really gonna, goodness, this tape, we're really gonna help out our other videos too. Because when we go, when we do the swap videos here, it's really loud in my shop. It's like way too loud. So this is really gonna help, because we've upgraded three of our systems, I mean, three of our pumps in there already to run two of our systems with some of the pumps that I know that are in here. There's more tape. There's more tape. More tape. And now we will be able to complete. I see them. I see them. Yes, yes, so this, that's the big one. That goes for the fish system in the shop, but we actually have plans to use these at the farm in the greenhouse. Because I'll tell you something, the big pumps, they get hot. And in a greenhouse, that really kind of sucks. So we want to finish upgrading the shop so we can hear ourselves think to come up with the plans for the upgrading the pumps in the greenhouse. So one for the fish system in the shop, there's two of them. So one, big one. I'm sorry, I was forgetting all about you, YouTube. I'm so sorry, I will show you the other pump. This is the other one, it's the same thing, but these pumps are DC. So this means that you can dial them down, you got the convenient little dial, 
which believe me came in super handy when the power went out and the generator actually doesn't run everything. Yeah. So we had to turn it down just a little bit and able to run the generator. It was perfect. Um, we actually could not run the pumps for the fish system. So had that stayed off too long, we would have had to do some moving around. It would have been a nightmare. Now yeah, we don't have to worry about it because we can turn them on and just turn them on low with these. Also feeding, I think would be good. So the food doesn't go in the drain. Awesome. And then this wave pump kit. When you have pretty much, you know, vats instead of glass tanks, your, your customers are, are really looking in from the top. You know, we don't have glass clear like you can see through in the shop. So we have to run some kind of DC pump in there so people can, the corals can get flow and that people can come in and just press a button. You know, they want to look at things. So we've got the, uh, the ice cap one. I'm always mispronouncing that. Help me out, Cliff. I don't make me Ice that. cap. Gyre. <laughs> the gyro. <laughs> okay, that one. Um, in the shop right now, so this is gonna be nice to be able to do, you know, some comparison, right? They'll be pretty much right next to each other. Yeah. What about right here? Yeah. Or right here. So that's gonna be fun to install and to play with. We'll show you that. We're gonna show them that, right? Show them that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We can actually, this thing will actually make waves, won't it? Yeah, I think it has multiple different I mean, settings that you could come it's long put a program. <laughs> There, are they eight feet? Eight feet? Six? Either way, they're yeah. long. They're long. We'll see. And then this, this is the thing, oh man, I made the freshy people wait for the end. This is the thing they wanted to see. Cody, are you in there? I'm sorry, I stopped reading for a second. <laughs> hey, Jason. I love you, bro. I don't see Cody. I don't see Obey. I don't know. Are my freshwater people here? Hey, Andy. Are my freshwater people here? Because you guys are going to be excited. This was actually just a bonus to these other things. Just because current's so generous like this, they'll just give you this stuff they thought of and then some other stuff they might think of. I don't see any freshwater people. I guess we'll show you anyway. I'm sorry, YouTube. Did I just block you out all of that? No. Nah. We're going to have to we've been work on our camera angles. Why aren't you, you in it. here with me, man? You got back this. On you got I know. I kind of took out down. I'm sorry. I got really excited about those pumps. So this one, this is a real, oh. oh, there we go. This is the serene light. And this, we're actually so, this is bigger than the current freshwater tank I have. So I actually have to set up another uh, bigger freshwater tank, probably get some fish and so on, to show off this light, which I really want to do, you know, even though it's just a 10 gallon right now, I'm sorry, YouTube, even though it's just a, a 10 gallon right now with a beta, uh, and I got a couple guppies from a local hobby the other day for emptying out some plants, um, I, I really want to do it because this light is actually so cool, it'll make you want to do fresh water. And they're coming out. We're doing out. a fresh water tank. We did. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I don't even have a salt water tank at home. Look, I got, there's uh, 3,000 something out. Look, I don't have a salt water tank at home. It, sometimes, and this is actually the whole idea behind this light. The whole idea behind this light is that sometimes you might just want to relax for a little bit. When you look at your aquarium, maybe you would just like to kick back and not be fixing a frag like you kind of always have to do with a reef tank because you know you, <laughs> you start looking at it and yeah it's relaxing but then you see that snail turned over then you see you know something else and then all of a sudden you clean your filter socks it's 2 a.m here you know i mean you probably should have just fell asleep in front of the fish tank but you know we get so into our reef, reefs and making them look so awesome yeah. some of these freshwater tanks look pretty awesome too and this light will show off a freshwater tank like you've never seen a freshwater tank been shown off before and yeah if you want to cheat on us and go google this you could because there's already some cool videos out there for this one but we're actually hoping to have the very first i'm hoping to have the very first marine version of this light because they are making one for marine tank and not only so this light all right i'll tell you a little bit about it it comes it's very awesome. It comes with a background 
uh, you have to put on this to make it work. So the background of your tank is now whatever color light you choose. And they've done a lot of work with like color and sound and everything, you know, stuff to make you calm. What was that word earlier? Binaural? Yeah. Binaural, right? Um, people download apps on their phone all the time about, you know, calming Binary. sounds and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so they went ahead and did this freshwater light um, because different biotopes and stuff. Where's Christina? Christina didn't see this. I should have sent her a message. But she was excited about this. Like different biotopes, they actually, um, you know, we copied the sounds. And they did a lot of work with the sounds to make it sound like that was, you know, for South African cichlids or, you know, different types. I mean, honestly, I don't even know. We're going to learn about it because it seems pretty cool. Um, and I'm excited to see the marine version. I mean, I know they can't really, you know, the sounds maybe as much, you know, um, being different or anything. But I'm excited to see what this light looks in a marine tank, whatever they come up with for that. A couple months, I heard, you know, I'm told. So, yeah, I guess that about wraps it up. We never did get our freshwater people in here. Oh my God, did I just not scroll? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh-oh. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, YouTube, also. When I go live all the time, I'm at events, and somebody is filming me. I don't have to worry about all this noise. So I did a few of these last year for Reef Smart raffles, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'll get better. But, all right, Devin came in. Hey, Devin. I didn't, I didn't see any freshwater people come in. Oh well, we'll get you on that next video, because I know y'all are gonna be interested. Hey, Second. you wanna break one of those open and show them what those pumps look like? Oh yeah, why not? Yeah, let's see what I they look like. in here. I second the t-shirt request. T-shirt request. What do we talk about with t-shirts? <laughs> Rob, explain yourself. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm not, you know, just roll down. Is it a place to light? Yeah. What's in the, um, the, the background, um, the light projects on it. And then it also lights a tank. It does both things. It's a background and a light, all in one. Somehow, we're gonna find out how. I don't. I don't know that I want to open this one because it's gonna have that film and everything in it. But yeah, let's open the pumps because that's gonna be that light's gonna be an installation all its own. We may have to go to a store and get a tank. I'm yeah. not even sure I have one laying out there at all, but I'll go buy one. Yeah, we're gonna you know, get a little project it's tank. Just to we're gonna work it out. Long. Yeah, twenty long. You know. Put that somewhere. All right, let's open up one of these and one of these. Here. As y'all notice, comes on the loop system. Yes. So on the shop, it's going to be convenient when we put that in to the vat because these pumps are already there. Oh, so. Different little flow me. Pretty cool. Even comes with a remote. Why doesn't this thing scroll down by itself? Pretty Why neat. should you have to do this, Facebook? Did you know We're hard busy. boy? Made it. Here's our here's our current rep. I did a lot of my bragging on you a little while ago. Well, on current. Did I mention how much I really love these pumps I have already? I'm really excited to be able to like hear myself think in the shop. Want to take a look at this? Yeah, it's a frosted background. Cat saying it's a um. Yeah, when I was looking at it, it looked like a film. We didn't open it, cat. We're gonna do that in another video. It's a pretty high size pump right here. Should blow some. Serious power with the <laughs> And y'all know I like flow YouTube. <laughs> we gonna have to fix this. You biased, man. <laughs> this is really a lot more streamlined than I thought yeah, it was I wanna, gonna be. I wanna check these out. I wanna right. see. But you know what's interesting? My when I turned it up the whites all the way on that one, my Zoes were shrinking down on the top. And then I was like, you know, I kinda wonder 
how powerful really is this light? You know, what's spectrum? Because, you know, that makes a huge difference. And that tank is, you know, it's pretty mature, so it really doesn't grow algae. So I'm kind of interested to play with that to see what would happen if I turn it up and try to put, you know, just scape it right. Like, figure out which level, you know, things would grow at and do well. Um, anyway, just standing here with this pump in my hand. These things are really streamlined, too, which, okay, so... The, <laughs> this thing is powerful. So you know the, uh, the biggest Supreme pump that's made those big 24s, I think they are. They're huge, right? That's what we have in the shop right now. And they are super duper, duper loud, all right? Especially the, uh, one of them, I, I'm pretty sure the shaft is cracked. I'm a little afraid to investigate. I was, um, <laughs> click like zooming in. Um, I was a little concerned when the power was going on and off because I was thinking, oh, you know, I've, a ball in motion tends to stay in motion, but when you shut it off, you guys know how pumps work. Usually they don't like to be on and off like that, but these, yeah, that's pretty exciting. They're gonna be easy to install too. Yeah. We might need to go uh, to Home Depot also. Is BJ watching this? We're gonna install these pumps without you. Because <laughs> we can... Usually BJ would do these and I wouldn't even be involved. But I'm going to have to muddle through somehow and just remember how to do my own plumbing for a day because I want to go ahead and get these done tomorrow and, you know, have a video made for you guys at some point. So, did we open everything? I don't think I took... That comes with the loop controller, of course, right? Yeah, you got to show the control. So you just, you know, I mount these on the side of my vat. You would just do it on the side of your tank or whatever. So there's a, there's a lot of local hobbyists that actually have this pump in their tank. I know two people already who were commenting here have, a, I don't know, tank came in here. That'd be three. But um, people that just, I know, bought this pump from either me or from another local fish store. So they're, I mean, they're really cost effective too. Kat, do you know the retail price on this? I mean, if you're still in there, maybe you can shout it out. You might just know it by heart. Yeah, you know, no point running YouTube and Facebook. That is true. I mean, that's cool. You can have Facebook followers and YouTube followers. Yes, Kat, before you came in here, I've, um, so I guess when you go rewatch it, you would see this, but I was really hoping that we might be able to demo that new marine light on that marine tank I told you about that has the old one because that would be super fun to do. Also YouTube, but um, Oh yeah, the loop system was um, is getting updated too. Yeah, before we do the um, the installation, I need to brush up on my current updates. I might need a phone call. I want to make sure I remember all the exciting things that it now does that it did not do before. I think there might be a delay for cat left. But yeah, whatever they were, they were cheaper than the uh, than those big twenty fours, and they're just powerful. It's super loud um, for, I think it was like, I really, I can't remember. I'm not the person that does money here. That may make you feel better to know. Um, I can't remember, but I know that they were, they were not more expensive. I'm pretty sure. And they were more powerful. And I mean, just quiet. Like really, those other ones are really loud. Like, especially when they get a few years on them. We are going to do some before and afters for you. And it's drastic so I kind of wish maybe I do have somewhere some video that's just really loud of me trying to do it before I even upgraded my vats because can you imagine like it was so loud in there now what was it like when they started getting some age on them you know a couple years after we opened the shop because the farm's been there for 10 years but even after like you know two years of having these other pumps they just got so loud that I was I started getting embarrassed I was really I wasn't happy with it as soon as I plugged them all in but then I started getting really embarrassed when I started to get old because 
you'd be able to talk to people. I mean, that's the whole fun of running a store. I got off track. Oh, running Good in. Good flags boxing up. Yeah. Let's see if Cat saw us ask for that retail price. Oh, off the top of my head, they no. Get to see a little don't bit don't remember the price. Me. Yeah, we'll, you know, I, we're just unboxing some stuff right now. We're going to do a follow-up video with all of that. So, um, yeah. 250 yeah, with a big one, 3,170 ounce per hour. Yeah. So go ahead and compare that to the, you know, 24 banner. It's an easy, easy comparison. I just... I'm either looking at YouTube or I'm looking at Facebook, and the other one's just got my profile. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They click like we can't see. Click like they're blind. They can't see. <laughs> they don't want to see me. They said we want to see click clack, maybe. And no video. Everybody saying no video. Oh, somebody else said I could see fine. <clears throat> so... Cat, I don't know. I think you maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what time you came in, but we're gonna do this installation tomorrow. And um, yeah, we're gonna do any of that live? Yeah, we could do some live. We'll we can do some of it live. Hook it up. Yeah. Um, but we do want to get you know just uh, some good footage of this thing working. You know, making edited videos so we can share that with you guys because it's it's really cool. And I'm probably gonna have to. <laughs> Just because you, I mean, you can't do this unless you're going to do it, right? Just like anything. We're probably going to have to go to the store and see if we can't, you know, get some fish too. So it might take a couple weeks to get that video out to you. Can't promise it's going to be very, very soon. Um, that final one, we'll probably go live again um, before this is through. But that final video showing it all off, it's going to take a little while because, you know, we're going to have to do it right, which means I'm going to take this 10 gallon change it into a 20 gallon and make sure we've got some fish in there that look cool and I'm we'll to escape a freshwater tank. It's gonna be kind I of think fun. she got a new love for fresh water, everybody. It, it's what I already had. I mean, the plants in there are doing great. I mean, I you'll see, I just have these, uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so look, where's my freshwater people? Y'all straight abandoned me. I shared this. To Raleigh Aquarium Society, and not an area one of you is in here backing me up, and I'm angry now. Not even Cody, no one. No one at all. Okay, whatever. Whatever that plan is, I posted that time. Can't remember. We'll figure it out by the video. I guess I'm gonna have to learn some things about fresh water. Yeah. But, all right. Well. Might be time to sign off. Let's see. Yeah. Been out about a half hour. We got any more comments? Yeah, a few more on Facebook. We got a couple people just joining in. Yeah, Kat said uh, 170 for the little bit smaller one than the one I use, which is, I mean, so I don't know if I mentioned what it's 180 gallon vats. Yeah. I'm pumping. Yeah. So, and this isn't even the only pump in them, you know, that's why it power heads in, the, in them too. Like they're, they're pretty big. Um, I really wouldn't set anything up besides my little tank under the counter. There's just, the farm is a big place and there's too many systems and I will not set up anything under 300 gallons. So these, when I say I'm gonna use these at the farm, um, I'm gonna use them as power heads. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> So, I understand to most people this is probably a nice sump pump, and it is, and I use them for that myself. But in the larger systems, uh, the farm vats are 650 gallons. So, what I'm going to do is take these and put them in the farm, and that way it will have flow as power heads. And we'll do some experimenting with maybe porting them out just a couple different directions. Because, as with any pump, if you eliminate head pressure, you're, that's the best you can do to yeah. get everything out of the pump. And I said in the beginning of the video, and I know there's some people just joining in, but like the, there's a lot we covered in the beginning. Um, the heat in the greenhouse is a very big thing. Like temperature, if you <laughs> if you want to try to grow coral outside, that's it's kind of a temperature's big. <laughs> it's a, 
<laughs> I don't know how it always impresses you. It's, um, it's your biggest battle. Temperature and shading, the sun, just like, you know, it, it all works together. <laughs> don't think these things aren't related. So we used to uh, run the farm on evaporative cooling. I'm sorry, I'm getting tired, so I'm rubbing my face. Gotta stop that. The farm used to run on evaporative cooling, and we decided to go ahead and upgrade it. Y'all are laughing at me. You. <laughs> that was all in the comments of one of my videos. I was so tired, and I spent the whole video doing like this. No like Facebook, just... ruthless. <laughs> yeah, they are. I love them, though. I mean, you you said your YouTubers can be ruthless, too. Oh, YouTube. They in there is... laughing at me also? YouTube That's is cool. always... Whatever. Whatever gets the lulls. And put a smile on someone's face. So yeah, I mean, temperature is is the biggest thing. And we used to run the farm on evaporative cooling, and it was so cheap and nice. And the things that broke cost like twenty dollars, which is awesome because they're fans. So evaporative cooling is the art of cooling your tank, which would run too hot on fans. Um, people used to know this when they ran metal halides, but now these days with LEDs, we don't. It don't matter you know you don't really need to worry about you aerate your surface because you know you want your oxygen and everything but you don't do it because you need to cool your tank so but that's you know that's how metal halides worked we just pointed the power head at the surface there you go you know and it would evaporate it's fine we would top off so that's the way the farm used to run then i got this bright idea because sometimes i have those and i decided that those pumps were not good enough and that my corals did not have enough flow and there's no way I can run an aquaculture facility with corals having enough flow. They're not going to grow good. So I decided I was going to upgrade these pumps. So I went ahead and did that a couple pumps at a time. I'm like, horsepower, one more horsepower, one more horsepower, until suddenly I'm up to like three, maybe. <laughs> and let me tell y'all, I have this pump sounded so great, and it's from Pentair Aquatics, and I really need to call them and tell them they're just didn't work out it sounded so awesome because it was controllable and you could set a schedule and you could you know save some energy by having some a lot of flow here maybe a lot of flow there and every time that I've upgraded that pump every time my finance guy you know the previous owner who will consult sometimes will always tell me oh this time you're gonna have all the flow you can ever want you never even care about running a power head because you know that that gets problematic because out of the farm if you run too many power heads you have to maintenance all these power heads oh, yeah. and it's a lot of them and so then that takes like a day to do <laughs> because imagine like you know the two in your tank times more so wait, yeah so when you're talking about 20 30 power head now it becomes like a bigger project than that um so yeah uh, that bright idea i had turned out to be the worst idea I ever had. And I really thought that it was gonna work. I thought for sure, this is how we get away from all those 20 power heads. That this is how we do it. We just upgrade the main pump, that's what we do. Every time I did it, it got worse. At first the temperature was just up a little bit, you know? We had to buy some chillers. Next, now, the chiller ain't even working, y'all. It is cold out there. And I've been playing this game every night. It is the funnest game ever. It's called Take a Guess to see what temperature this water's gonna stay to see if you can't keep your corals from swinging 10 degrees. That's a fun thing. By the way, it's the acro vat. Neat. Let's try to grow acros out there in those conditions. <laughs> Let's just swing them 10 degrees all the time. They love that. So uh, every night I have to play this game of where I'm like, maybe, maybe I'll cover only half of it. Maybe, you know, this piece. So I, I chose half tonight. Did I choose right? I don't know. It was going to be 81 tomorrow. It was 76 when I was out there. We'll see, I guess. So, wrong solution to this problem because it's wintertime, and wintertime is not when we're supposed to have problems with heat. That's supposed to be summer. That's the season for that problem. It's supposed to be keeping it warm right now, which, I mean, I admit that's been cool. You can't control it, though. It's not like you can control that, so it's not really valuable in any kind of way but uh yeah i mean you know that didn't work out so these pumps being most of what's when you're running a big pump like that and you're trying to run it to as much space as we are you have to port it out a lot and you lose your power doing that and these pumps really aren't they're not really even made for that they're not made to like 
run through that much, to have that much head pressure that they have to push against in order to get out. And it is ported within it everywhere because of course I'm trying to use them for flow all around. So it just didn't work out at all. So we're gonna have to back up, go to the idea of just having a smaller pump, like even the size you might have in your sump, you know, out there just mixing the vats together and then provide them flow within the vat. And we can probably, if we do that, go back to rapid of cooling. Are we gonna be able to do that and give Acros full sunlight in the summertime on the hard roll side? Not sure, because I remember having a big problem with that back in the day. But it's been a lot of years now, and it's kind of hard for me to remember. How bad was that when it was a real small pump? How bad was it then? Because these things are DC. That's not a lot of heat. So, could work. I talked for a long time, by the way, Kat. I'm sorry, I was going to scroll down the comments again. I talked for a uh, long time with Ike about that. Um, because, it's. I mean, it's true. Like, you... The heat is incredible with those big pumps. It heats up the system a lot. And why did I get that pump if I can't use it? Like, we're, I'm having to cut it down to nothing. That's not what I got it for. I mean, yeah, I was trying to maybe cut it down to nothing sometimes. But, I mean, I can't even run it for, like, four or five hours without it jumping up a degree or two. What? This is a lot of water we're talking about, by the way. Like, <laughs> I should be able to blast that thing at least 12 hours and not have it jump that much. But you can't. It's just an incredible amount of heat. So, yeah, current's been nice enough to give us these pumps for the shop. That was our next investment. We were going to have to do that, invest in the pumps for the shop, because we need to hear ourselves think. Um, I think. I think we're really just trying not to change the pump out there and fight it for now, but, like, this winter has shown us it's a, a losing battle. Like, there's no way. In the summertime, we, we can cut it down and run it to nothing. But then, you know, why do we buy it? So we're just, we're going to wind up upgrading these at the farm. I'm sure of it now because I love them so much in the shop that why wouldn't I try that? Um, I'll have to look up before we do the final video how long have they been going in the shop. Because I want to say it could be like a year now. I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure. Maybe about a year. All right, let's see if there's any more comments here. There's a lot of people just joining right at the end. Are we supposed to just hang out for the first half hour? And then... Hey. We, I mean, we could do that, actually. When we do a video like this, we could hang out and just talk about... Um, What's flow, going on? Flow in our tank. Yeah, I don't know. The reasons why we're opening the box maybe before we open it, because I feel like you guys missed all the exciting stuff. What's in the box? Oh, Adam's here. What's fresh water? Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you will know... After I'm done with you with this light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the live video tomorrow, cat. Yeah. Well, uh, don't worry. We're gonna. Um, I think we're. Are we gonna even take ex excerpt excerpts of this? Yeah. In the final video, yeah. yeah. We'll we'll do the highlights. You know, maybe you know something hugging the box, holding up a pump. <laughs> <laughs> Big old grin on my face. Yes, thank you so much, cat. Yes, Adam, you are late. Show what you're talking about again, please. And then there's... Adam comes on and says, show what you're talking about, please. And then there's one, two, three, four, five people joined. Are y'all all still in here? We're, we're talking about all... The, we got a lot of current products. So current decided to sponsor the Reef Farm, which blew my mind because I only get sponsorships for um, the nonprofit. So I, I run Sustainable Reef also. So, and they're also donating to Reef Smart. Thank you, Kurt. Um, and, and I, you know, donations to that is just like, cool things, you know, it happens every year. It's, it's you know, it's been happening for 10 years every year. This is the first, I said I, I said I would possibly cry. I might. This is the first time anyone's ever given us something, like for the farm, for aquaculture, because they said, yay, aquaculture. Try so you can't run your farm. You know? That meant a lot. So for everybody new joining in, I'll recap these things real quick. Is there freshwater people in here? Sound off if you're freshwater. And I'm gonna do these uh, both things real quick because obviously it'd be cool freshwater pump too, right? So being a DC pump, a really cool feature on this on your display tank is gonna be to be able to cut down to feed. Neat. 
Right, so like I, I got excited earlier. I think you weren't in here yet, Kat, because uh, we lost power at the farm. And you know, the ice and the snow and everything. And the, the generator was not strong enough to quite everything. And the fish systems just had to take one for the team. And I would have had a lot of racing around to do, trying to like move stuff to get into a system that would stay warm had the power stayed out. Now, luckily it didn't do that. So I didn't have to worry about it. But once these are installed, then I have to do is turn those down too. <laughs> because you don't have to run them at full capacity. And if all you're trying to do is just, you know, keep your, your tank warm, you know, for a few hours and keep it moving, um, or even a few days. I mean, sorry, but corals can go without flow a few days. As long as, just, as long as it's moving a little bit, as long as you're not staying stagnant, you will be fine. You know, I mean, maybe a spoon, you know, I've, I've tried it. I don't know that it helped, but you know, you just need to keep the water moving a little bit. And this would do that if you don't quite have enough power to run everything, which is the problem I'm gonna need to. So the loop controller comes with it, which you can also plug into as a complete plug and play kit. That's right, yes, this. We packed that back up though. But it's really streamlined. It's actually like just maybe even a tiny bit bigger than that thing on the box. It's really little. I really expected it to be bigger, to be, you know, that powerful thought it would maybe have to be that's pretty small. And that magnet about broke my finger off like I did it was really strong. Um it comes with a little divider and everything in it. So uh, but I just got excited and pulled it off and then I tried to put it back together because we weren't ready to install it yet. It'll stay on your tank. Pretty sure it's gonna happen. Are we taking pictures too? I really, you guys have no idea. Like, I, mm, I'm very excited about this. Um, like I said, this is the first time anyone's ever donated something to the farm and they donated stuff I already love and then threw in some new store that has an old current light that might would maybe even could use a new one. This is that light. This is a fresh water one that's already out. And this has been out for a little while and I have to oh, I have to apologize <laughs> I have to apologize to uh to current and to Kat again for being so late with this video because I wouldn't unbox it though because the unboxing videos are good, right? So I wouldn't unbox it and I just let these products sit there and not do anything with them because I was in the middle of a show. And then there's all that post stuff you have to do after the show. And then Reef Smart's coming up. And I really needed to wrap up a bunch of that before the end of the year. Because it, it was important. I had already made some big commitments. So the timing just worked out like crazy. So I actually, I needed this flow. I've been moving around corals into better flow and, you know, making my job harder. Because, you know, I didn't have these pumps in the shop and not opening up cheaper ones because I didn't want those big boxy ones in there anymore. I knew this was coming, so I'm really excited to do it. <laughs> but this is a freshwater light, and um, the the backing is uh, frosted, so the light comes also with a background, so it's like a background and a light in one, and the, uh, the, the background of it is frosted so that the light will project on it, and they have a bunch of different colors that, you know, help you get a certain mood. Like, see if I remember some of them. Um, this was a little while ago conversation now, but um, the red in your kitchen will make you hungry. The, um, I think it was teal, it would make you calm. Um, there was a few other ones, like a, a yellow one is energy. I'm probably quoting all those wrongs, but you, you get what I'm going with here. Um, and it's a binaural audio. So the audio is also designed to make you, you know, calm. And it's designed as for biotopes also. So that you can, you know, it's the south. I don't really know them all, so I'm gonna have to learn. I don't really know a lot about fresh water, so I'm sort of excited. This maybe this light will teach me some things. Um, and I was hoping Christina would get in here because she's the biotope queen. Like she is the one everywhere. She, I cannot tell you how many biotopes this she has set up over the years. Like she, very into that, and she will research every single thing that goes in there. And she has a pair of matching saltwater and freshwater tanks. So she likes to do a biotope in one and a biotope in the other. I know she would go nuts for this just even whole idea. Like I mentioned it to her in the shop one time, she went crazy. So I probably should have sent her a personal message because she would get really excited about this. Holding that wrong, I'm sorry, YouTube. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to figure out all the different tricks with this light. And uh, the, I know that the Lupin controller got updated also, and there's some new tricks with that. 
which I'm gonna have to learn before we do all the final videos on this. I can't believe I have to keep scrolling comments. Just go down and hit more new people. comments. Yeah, you missed. Yes, this is live. Mike, we are still live. Because what happened is we explained it all once, and then a bunch of people came in, and somebody said explain it again. So we just it's the kept loop going. system. Which is, yeah. <laughs> so people just, we'll just keep going. Um, some point, my kid is probably going to need to go to bed or something, but, uh, you know. Oh, Troy's in here. Mike in Texas. We love you in Texas, Mike. Cody. Cody made it. So Cody does the, uh, oh man, triad, uh, just type it, Cody. Triad, tropical, aquarium. Mm. You know, I know it better when I see it in front of me and I'm, you know, sharing stuff to it. But yes, he runs a show out of uh, Kernersville. So that's fun. It's a half fresh and half salt show. And he got really excited when he heard about, saw that I had got this. He got a little jealous, actually. I think a little bit jealous, Cody. Probably gonna get mad at me for that, aren't you? Yeah, Cody really wanted this light. Oh, but I, you know, how much is this light, Cat? You, I'm sorry, I'm hitting. She's, she's a wholesale rep, and I'm putting her on the spot with like, tell me all these retail prices. Do we have any stores in here? Can anybody? <laughs> Anybody else, maybe, take Cat off the spot? I don't know how much this light retails for. I don't know. Um, can't be as cool as it is. Um, the whole concept and purpose, by the way, this light is let's make fish tanks relaxing. Let's just sit back and watch it for once. Um, because reefers, you know, we... It, it actually, I think it took some maybe some convincing from some current fans to get them to make a marine light because especially you know to try to maybe support coral like you know I'm gonna try with it um, <laughs> the the whole point behind this is just to relax and as reefers we we relax kind of by just working on our tanks you know we will get up and kind of straighten a frag or you know maybe this thing look a little you know and then by the time you know it you in there and you're some just staying around trying to find whatever some monsters you put in there six months ago and all of a sudden it's two in the morning and you never did once relax after work but i mean you know have fun because you did something but you know this fun hobby to you but at the same time you know we're we're so obsessed with getting all these perfect colors out of our corals and everything that maybe sometime maybe you could just have a fish tank too that just was kind of real easy to take care of and just looked really awesome because that's kind of what i need in my life um i don't have time to do a reef tank at home i can't do it is too much like there's it's too much there's the farm I've got enough tanks to test we talked about what happened earlier when I have to go clean power heads it's not gonna be relaxing to me after you know having to do that all the time to come back in here and do that if it, it would be it would be of course it would be and that's why I have the job that I do but it's not just it's just really you know and I know some reefers that like they get out of it for a little while just because it does take a lot of time you know, to really make it, especially when you get deep level in the hobby and you start needing to have some macros and everything. I mean, it just, it can take up a lot of time, you know, and sometimes you break from the hobby, right? Just taking a break from the hobby. You know, what if it was just easy and relaxing and, you know, you have to mess with it. That's fresh water, isn't it? That's, you know, that's what the freshies say when they make fun of us. They're like, you guys got to work so hard. You know, we're just over here with our planet tanks, topping off. Doing some, well, no, that, you know, Cody did tell me to gravel back. And I, ha you know what happens? Plants grow. A lot, Cody's planting pond. They <laughs> did you see the picture? It was a lot. It was a whole carpet. Some freshwater hobbyist out there, I cannot remember his name right now, I'll save my life, or I will call him out. Maybe if he comes in the video, he can call himself out. But it, I gave him just a huge, almost just carpet of those plants because they grew like mad in there. And I just... You know, use some soft substrate, kind of. So let's see. Yes, and Cody has a rebuttal. I've I've called him. I've called him out a couple times. Okay, so this this serene light is uh, two thirty. The forty eight inch. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not this one. The forty eight inch is two thirty. 
and then there's also a 24, 36, and a 72. Wait a minute, the 48 inch is 230, and you were complaining about price, Cody? Really? Why is that? Because I bet that I bet that this one's less than. Did you see what it does? You saw that, right? Yeah, yeah. From what I hear, Taylor grows plants too. You know, it means maybe not going to be your plant growing system, but how awesome is that? This is just, it's about the display. It's about, you know, having that awesome looking tank. This, you know, YouTubers. YouTubers get that. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I know YouTubers get that. You have freshwater people? Nah. No? Go, go get your freshwater friends. Get your freshwater friends. Oh, I'm never going to be able to read all that. Who's not going to make it easy? I'm going to make it easy. What are you talking about? Oh, we got... Freshwater. Oh, Lisa. See? Freshwater. See? Yeah. Look at that. I mean, this is the picture on the box. That's it. Oh, we got a few I mean, freshwater There's some video. Current released a really nice one. Um, you can go to their Facebook page and see it. It's really nice. I hope you still tune in to see what we do with it. Because who knows what I'll do with it. I mean, I haven't... I've never even done freshwater on this level. I'm gonna have to go figure out something. I'm gonna need some plants. There's a um, there's a freshwater business probably about. Well, he's got some saltwater tanks too, but he's about 20 minutes from here. He's got a lot of plants. Fisher might have some plants. We'll find some plants. And I don't know what else goes in freshwater tank. Rocks, these rocks. Yeah, we'll find some rocks. We're gonna need some more some, gravel. Some some clay or something in the bottom. Yeah. Somebody says he drinks fresh water. I mean, I you know, it's maybe not this water. That's right, Murph. <laughs> I mean, we've all drank some water when we're trying to start our siphon. I think that's something both fresh water and salt water Aquarius could agree on is that everybody has drank a little of their tank water before. You know, well, I learned how to do mine without putting my mouth on it. <laughs> well, this uh, the siphon starter pump. What do you use? Well, I use a siphon. I starter. just. Hold a tube up, scoop, scoop it. it a couple times, yeah, and then dip and scoop stick it back in. Dip and scoop. Yeah. I always wind up just getting rid of all the um, the and the gravel back in because I don't believe in gravel vacuum. I'm against it. I'm just I will quit the hobby altogether if someone tries to make me ever gravel back again. Oh. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, I hate to be so harsh about it. You ever try to you gravel back your sand? Yeah. You do. Yeah, I do. I do. I can't imagine a worse nightmare. I don't know. We were talking about that earlier, though. People, different things in the hobby, what you will yeah. do, what you won't do. You know, everybody got their hard line. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, also, you know, I like to run some nutrient-rich ri systems when I run sand. So, there's that. I go bare bottom. I don't want to have nutrient-low system. Just go bare bottom. Why? There's nothing catching there. I mean... Okay, so I know that's a controversial one too. Oh, hey, Marty. Molly, you gravel back really? Remind me never to sell you a sifter. <laughs> Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Have I sold you a cucumber? I'd like him back, please. He needs to come back to the farm. <laughs> he can't live with you no more. You take away his food. That animal poops out clean pellets of sand. Why would you take away his food? You took away all his food. Sorry, you two. Um, so at the farm, we actually uh, culture, I, uh, can't be a lot of people watching this. We can't do this on a large scale, but we, we culture tiger tail cucumbers in that they split, they'll, they'll twist and they'll split. And if you have enough food for them, they'll do this. So way down deep, you know, a few feet below <laughs> the surface level of the farm is a bunch of sand with a bunch of tiger tails crawling around in there. And there was only ever three, but I've taken more than a hundred for sure. A um, couple hundred, at least, over all this time. Cucumbers out of there, they just kept splitting and splitting and yeah. splitting. So somewhere in all of these cucumbers is like a little teensy piece. You know, from like the original. But he's pretty much long gone by now. Nah, uh, he's still there. Uh, he just broke up. Well, oh, uh, so pieces. we need to start doing some aquaculture videos so I can get into talking about peanut butter. Because I think I might be breeding another sea cucumber at the farm right now. But I'm going to need to do a little bit more field research before I know that for sure. But anyway, dirty sand bed, right? Because how are you going to do that if you could, if they're going to breed in there when you vacuum and you know, okay, that's going to be the happen. So it, rather than, you know, me do that, can you imagine? What if I was going vacuum sand at the farm? 
<laughs> Malia, you've been there, right? What? Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Go we'll move all the racks. What? Want some mutton? Mm, no. Nope. 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 Two thirties on my gets for a forty-eight inch, Cody. Go get the smaller one. You know. Yeah. Oh, cat's got a good point. How much are you gonna spend on that background? Hmm? You do background on your tank. What about how much you spend on the background because it's two and one? So then what? Hmm? Come back with that. Oh, cat's got draw of a fern. Because we got freshwater people in here now. So uh, under this light, for you, those of you that grow plants, um, draw of a fern, various types of Anubias. Anubias, is that, uh, is that a spiky one? Hmm? Is that a spiky? Uh, don't, don't get is me it, in here lie. Nope. nope. Does it look like grass? I say, <laughs> I sound like a newbie reefer right now talking about green star pop. Does it look, <laughs> does it look like grass? Like, is it really looks exactly like grass? Want to get real tall, like real grass and not even weeds, but real grass. Is that what that is? Um, did I finish reading that? Oh yeah. A uh, newbie is uh, some crypts. I don't know what that is. That's clearly a type of freshwater plant. Crypts. Crypts. Um, and a few others quite well, no CO2, and it's pretty. Yes, that is the main focus of this light, is that it just looks so awesome, which is what got Cody jealous. Hmm, plants, I wish you like you know some of those plants. See, that's what I was saying. So, Cody's Plants Pond. You and your plants. Malie, are you gonna help deck this tank out? You are awesome. I'm not kidding, do, I'm not, still not gonna gravel back though. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Planted tank ferts. What's what was that talking about? They're gonna help date the tank. I don't know. Freshwater lingo. Malia, don't do this to me. You, I mean, not that I didn't already admit it. I don't know freshwater. I'm gonna learn. That's the point of this. It's a hobby. It's fun to learn. God. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so the pond that we have, the turtles would eat the plants. So, unfortunately, we do have turtles at the farm, but they would eat those plants. Guys, I come dig it a pond. Uh. <laughs> I mean, what? Why can't it be both? Why can't it be both a pond and a tank inside, right? I mean, Cody, do you really, like, of course I understand the natural light in the greenhouse thing. You see, I'm not talking about, like, go light my, I'm not going to light my farm with these. Even the marine <laughs> version, that's not what I was saying. I'm, I'm just saying to have, you know, the tank you this pretty look at in your house. I mean, so I kind of, here's the thing. I kind of, I kind of like to put this in my bedroom. Because I've fallen asleep on the couch too much. And I believe that this would change that for me. But then I'm gonna have to bring all y'all in my bedroom, won't I? Oh. I mean, the wall there isn't painted white. Well, then he's got his own background. I get, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know, I don't know what to think about that. Let's see if we can get the cameras situated. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, because really, uh, how boring is that, you know, if I just set it up like against a blank wall anyway? And I think I would enjoy it the most in there. Probably relaxing, right? Maybe do the late night business finishing up things. <laughs> Post on Facebook. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. So Click Clack has got you. Um, he's just going to come over. <laughs> I don't have time to do every single one. And how was I going to run all these cameras anyway? I didn't feel like doing a little loop system. So for the show this year and maybe forever, because why don't we all just do what we're good at, right? Like, if I'm, if I'm doing well, why don't I just focus on there? Why don't we just get people who do YouTube and let them do YouTube? And then we'll figure out something to do with the cameras where it's just a little more like I'm, like we're looking at everybody. But, uh, yes. Sorry, YouTube. We're, we're not really managing your comments. I'm really going to have to blame that on Click Clack. So um, that's uh, that's his deal. Did you maybe need to bring your computer? Can computers <laughs> do computers? Yeah. We got another computer in here yeah. for you? Anyway. Malia, we couldn't get Christine in here. I didn't send her a message. What's split in your 33, Daniel? Line of split in my 33. Are we talking about something completely different right now? Did I miss some comments? Just 
still got new people joining. Black background. That was your comeback, Cody. Black background. Oh, well, I've got to roll a black background, so <laughs> that's like practically the symptom. If you for real, did you not? I'm sorry, you caught the concept, right? That black background is not this background. Probably a little bit more than like a can of paint would be to reefer, right? Since this is what we use spray paint the back of our paint black. You know? Black and blue. Well, look, so here was my thought. So even if, uh, even if reefers, like a marine version comes out, say, even if reefers didn't use this as their light, why wouldn't they want to use this as just a, you know, some of us will light up our tanks with a lot of money. Yeah. Just as your background and a little bit extra. QT huh. tank. I no. mean, how many of us are running um, LED T5 combos? You mean, you, you know you're getting your power from your T5s. That's what yeah. you're, you know, that's what you're doing. You're running most T5s with a with a side LED. That's yeah. how I understand that school yeah. of thought, right? So, well, I want that because it comes with, I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'll show you how it works. I bet it's going to work awesome. Because there's a couple brands that I've just been using for, like, since time out of mind. And current is one of them. Um, so... Since time out of mind, what is that? Um, it's, I think it's almost 20 years now. I was actually a manager of a, a full line. This is back when full line pet stores were a thing. And I was a manager of one when I was 17, I think. And I used to make orders from what was back then, Royal Pet Supplies. And of course, current is still on Phillips, right? So these are products just been using for a long time so yeah cat the rimless so little jelly um can't do the rimless thing uh, uh can't do the rimless thing i want to i really want to but um yeah i don't know you think anybody in town has a rimless tank oh, for this yeah. one yeah. do you think so i'm pretty sure yeah. for that length Maybe we cut them a deal to sponsor it for this thing. Maybe they cut us if we cut them a deal. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they cut us a deal for sponsoring this awesome video. It's gonna, I mean, I want to make it as cool as possible. I mean, if you're going to do a freshwater tank after, I mean, a real freshwater tank, we all know the, the 10 gallon with the one beta in it isn't a real freshwater mm. tank. I mean, I think even the people who went straight to reef tanks know that in here. <laughs> I think we've all seen tanks a little better than that. I'll show you before and after pick. Complete with the uprooted plants. Looks good right now. I wish I could try this everywhere. From my, my little vacuum in my sand. We're going to have to get some plants for sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to eat my words on that vacuum. Oh, thing. yeah. You know Facebook going to hold it to you. Yeah. Tiger tail. Sorry, I'm just trying to scroll through all the comments. Come out of them a little far away. With a box of table in the way. Oh, I see how it is, Cody. Giving Kat that update about the date for your show. Can't, can't be... I guess you did just update me. I'm just still trying to give you a hard time. January, eh? Oh no, you're saying you have a date in January. Gotcha. Yeah. Let me know. Okay, I'm sorry, there's still people joining in, but I feel like we've been at it. we've been at this for an hour. Yeah. It's about time. You man. people joining in are I'm sorry. You're gonna have to we'll do another live video tomorrow for a little bit. And then we'll do a, a final video to show off really everything, you know, and the install. Because, you know, I think that's a, a good thing about those videos. And I, I thought about making one. I was like, this makes sense. Because, you know, every time I'm having trouble setting up a product and it's probably just my own, you know, not reading it all the way. It's just so much easier. That's why I think that's why these videos do so well. It's just so much easier to just go on YouTube and look, you know. People don't really do that as much on Facebook, which is why I click clack here. So hopefully anybody wants to know installation of any of these pumps could be covered on click clack's channel. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's so it makes it easy for you. So you can just watch somebody do it right quick in a nice edited, you know, thing. So know all the features be like, oh, okay, I don't have to 
read the directions because you know sometimes the directions are written in a way that it takes you a minute to try to figure it out and so, I so just, basically we're gonna know, take this I get frustrated 10 hour me. install and turn it into five minutes yeah. quick that's the magic of video is we can show you the thing from the beginning of the end and and do all the steps in between and then all that that work that took so long it was obviously okay so it's going to take the same amount of time to do but uh when you're when you're thinking to go do it you just you can watch it so that's why these videos are cool so we wanted to help out this one i mean this one this is actually pretty new i thought it was getting they must have given it to me when it was really kind of new because like i said it's been, this video has been coming for a little while um and i there's still not too many videos out there about it there's the one current day and i think a couple other ones mm -hmm. where kind of hoping to have really you know up to date or -er later possibly a saltwater version one how many times i mentioned it now three times yeah i think that's enough yeah that ain't right. enough i yeah. think cat's been times. in there the whole time she's been listening yeah <laughs> she'll pass a message so yeah i'm sorry guys i just joined we gotta wrap this up it's been an hour we'll be back tomorrow you want to yeah. pick a time um, I'm pick one now that way. I don't we'll know. We'll, um, we'll come up with something sometime. We'll let you know. Yeah. Uh, so I figured out what went wrong with that announcement. I said this in the beginning of the video, and I'm sorry. I didn't see that fine print. I was so excited to click that got here that I didn't really look at that fine print after I had set it up, and I didn't realize that I was going to have to go in 20 minutes before and verify that I was doing a live video. I mean, I announced it a few hours before. I guess the Facebook thought I maybe wouldn't be here. So they wanted me to come in and check. It'd be 20 minutes before, like, okay, we're here, whatever. We were just, you know, setting up the cameras real quick and everything 10 minutes before. We didn't we didn't really think about, you know, coming in earlier to check. Or I didn't, anyway. He doesn't even do Facebook Live, like, do you? No. Nah. Yes, yes, you don't do Facebook Live. So I'm sorry. I mean, uh, like I said, when I do live videos before, it's always at an event and I really honestly don't even know what time I'm gonna be able to do those so I never really announce them so I didn't really know how to do that one but I will do an announcement tomorrow morning on the refarm page and however you guys saw this, this one I'm not sure how that works but he'll do the same thing and then we'll do another live bit on these sure all right that. final comments final comments so Facebook Y'all hold it in the road. See y'all at Resmart. Disgusted on the way down to Spartanburg. Cody, you've lost me. Did you join in the underwent IKEA directions? The heck are you talking about, man? You you know what? I'm just about to PM you and your silliness. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Everybody have a good night, y'all. Thank you for joining us. Like I said, we'll make an announcement tomorrow to let you know what time we're going to start doing stuff. Yeah. All have right, Facebook. Time. Everybody have a good night. Bye-bye, YouTube. Bye-bye, Facebook. Oh, you know I got to be a little extra for Facebook. I didn't do what? I and didn't do any extra. What's up, YouTube? As y'all can see, I'm out here chilling with Grace at the Reform, chilling. She doing her little thing, thing, getting her little stuff, stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, they didn't want to see me, I'm telling you. They didn't want to see me, they want to see you, they say, work, click, clack. Oh, no, I got so excited about these products, y'all. I just started going off. Oh, no. We're not married, K Town. This is Grace from the Reef Farm. Don't worry, you'll see him in the install tomorrow. I'm gonna have him crawling behind those fish systems with his long arms. Man, I'm sorry. I I I was too busy on Facebook. Y'all know how Facebook is. Facebook, it's, it's something else. They brutal, man. They're brutal. I couldn't help that, K Town. Yeah, I, no, well, no, I didn't let y'all down because I was just giving y'all a little sneak peek of what's going on at the reform. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all out here for resmart, y'all can come on by the reform, check it out, see what's going on back there, man. I will have it open. We're going to do extended hours.
Yeah. I hired somebody already. Because it ain't every day you get to go on the reform and see what's going on behind the scenes. You know, that's way the magic is made. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we're going to have to do a, um open greenhouse day that day? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I got to get some staff for that. All my security is going to be in the building. In the convention center. Yeah. But you know, Grace got some cool stuff to go on the reef farm, you know. Stuff come right on time. Couple cool pumps, a little light, you know. I said we'll check this little light out, you know. Make us a little fresh water set up. What you know about that? A little fresh water. See, Dave was in here. Dave thought I was about to hit him with that flow. <laughs> but I ain't going to do it, though, Dave. I ain't going to do it, Dave. What happened if I if I click the notification of you being live? Oh, yeah. Did you mess each other up? Nah. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away and come back to you. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, well, I'm about to shut it down, get on my journey back across town. Been cool with it. YouTube, y'all hold it down. Click, clack, click, clack, brief, and I'm out. Ow! YouTubers like them silly shit, don't they? You know I'm stupid.